Star Trek. Oh my gosh, Star Trek. Everyone goes crazy about this. It's the dumbest show ever. Actually, I've seen one or two episodes and like two of the movies. But basically the gist of it is it's about drugs. That's it. It's all drugs. It takes place in space, but not really because they're high all the time. You can tell it's about drugs because their ship has two giant lit doobies on it. Oh, and the main character is Captain Kirk. He's like... He's like, he thinks he's the hero, and, and he has all his loyal crew members. There's Spock, and, and McCoy, and, and all the other guys. And they're always fighting against the Klingons, the ones who, who try to shut him down and stop him from having fun. But the thing is, they keep remaking it. They keep coming out with a new series. Like, the first one came out in the 40s or something, back when drugs were really cool. And then with each new one, they're trying to make it more politically correct, so they recast Kirk as different characters. In Star Trek Avenger, they cast Kirk as a woman. In Star Trek uh, Battlestar, he was an African-American. In Star Trek The Generational, they cast Kirk as a homosexual. And they, the really controversial one was in Star Trek Enterprise, where he was George Bush. Oh, and interesting thing about Star Trek Enterprise, no one likes that one because that was the only series where they tried to make it an actual sci-fi and move away from the drugs analogy. And people hated that. All the fans were crazy, like, no, it's got to have the drugs. That's what it's all about. It's like, no, that's a good one. What is wrong with you people? So in addition to the shows, they also have made a lot of movies, lots of Star Trek movies, and they've done a gazillion of them. It's like 30 something now and there's this rule that they all the movies follow it's called the odd even rule so all of the odd number movies are really really good and all of the even number movies have been really really bad and the best movie they ever made was star trek into darkness directed by that prodigy of a filmmaker jj abrams khan he's he's the leader of the klingons and um i don't know he's kirk's trying to stop him he's really the good guy but because it's all from Kirk's perspective, he sees it as he's the bad guy. And in my opinion, it was the best of the movies. The one, the one I definitely enjoyed the most. And also one of the only ones I've seen, coincidentally. And that's Star Trek in a nutshell. Now don't go watch it. You don't need to. It's empty! <laughs>